today is june 11th 2020 and today is my big chop anniversary i'm super excited to come to you guys and show you my progress because with patience you can get a lot done now i, I literally just woke up i'm getting ready for work but i was like let me come show you all this um this is my hair freshly bonnet bon fresh out the bonnet um hit my little sides up but I just wanted to give you guys a little length check and I haven't straightened my hair since December. It was like six months ago. Um, I got this really cool um, silk press kit from Design Essentials, which is a black owned brand. I um, cut my hair off a year ago because I had colored my hair and I was perming my hair because I was keeping a shortcut. Long story short, it all fell out. And I took you guys on the journey of how I got there. So today I'm gonna quickly take you on the journey of um how i got here so i just kind of took some little photos every month to photo document my journey um i had some really cool protective styles along the way because you do get to some like awkward lengths and you don't know like what to do with your hair and it's so frustrating and trust me i understand even for me sometimes even though i have a lot of hair it's pretty frustrating um what happened with me was when, when I got my hair big chopped, it was basically all the same length, but then I asked somebody to line the back up right here. I said, line up the back. Just cut off the whole back. So then it was like, oh, that's not what I asked for. So it messed me up. So I had kind of cut my size a little bit so it could look like a short haircut and flow. Cause at that point I was like, I'm not starting over again. This is what we got going on in the front. Let's see, we got back here. We got almost, oh shit, shoulder length back here. Okay, we is growing. I have not had this much hair since you guys, I don't know when. And even my back has grown out significantly. It's not what I want it to be, but you know, pretty much about taps my shoulder. So what I am going to do you guys is I'm gonna go wash my hair, I'm gonna blow dry it, and then I'm going to, um, I'm gonna trim it and see what it looks like. And I'm gonna do the silk press. Now, because it has been like 80, 90 degrees this week, that silk press ain't gonna last. It's gonna last for about two days. It'll get me through the weekend and barely. The goal is to not to put too much heat on my hair. And if you're using heat protectant in the silk press kit, your hair should come right back. My hair came right back when the last time I did it. I've straightened my hair twice on this journey. Once in, I think, October. And then the other time was at the end of the year for New Year's. So now we're like six months later. So I cannot wait to see the results. I'll be right back. So I am at the end of my work day. It is 7.30 at night. I just got home. I'm time to shower, but I'm gonna wash my hair. I'm gonna prep my hair to be straightened. So I have the Design Essentials Agave and Lavender Connection. It's a four part collection. It comes with um, a moisturizing hair bath that is kind of like a, um, a really deep cleansing shampoo so it cleans your hair and prepares it to be straightened because you know when you're adding heat in your hair you can't have any gunk in it and all the gunk that i use when i'm straightening my hair i mean when i'm you know styling my hair like this it builds up so it cleans up the buildup. and this is a moisturizing and detangling conditioner so i'm going to take this um wash to condition my hair they have a primer i'm going to prime my hair when I blow dry it and they also have a serum I'm gonna add a little bit of that all over my hair before I blow it out and trim it you guys I'm gonna go wash my hair and I'll be right back all right guys so I went ahead and washed my hair I pretty much let it air dry for the most part because I don't want to put that much heat in my hair um, took my shower cooked some dinner poured me a glass of wine it's gonna be a long night it's now basically nine o'clock so I'm gonna get into this hair. I feel like doing this is gonna be shorter than wash day, although it has been six months since I straightened my hair. So I'm gonna section my hair. Let's get to it. I'm gonna go in with my handy tandy Revlon blow dryer. This thing right here is the lit. It makes blow drying my hair so easy. Uh, I look blonde. Can you tell I'm tired? I need to spray my hair. Goodness, freaking gracious. I 
All right, let's see what we got going on here. This thing is like the best thing ever. It saves time when you're blow drying. I literally feel like um, Simba. This is the circle of life. But now that I've got my hair all blow dried, I'm going to take my um, Design Essentials Agave Lavender Weightless Thorough Protective Serum and apply that all over my head. But I think I'm just gonna run through it one more time, make sure I don't have any of that spot. All right, it feels pretty dry to me. I'm underneath the fan right now. I don't feel any wetness. It's like hella hot still. I'm sweating right now. Take like two pumps on my hair, be crazy. Just gonna rub that through. All right. About time to get this iron going and I'm gonna straighten this hair and I'm gonna give it a good shrimp. Unfortunately guys, this is where it all ends. I lost everything after this. I was happy with my results. It grew a lot more than I thought I would in the year. This is the final results. I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you're on this journey, comment below and let me know how it's going for you guys. Thank you guys so much and until then, I'll see you in my next video. Mwah!